first went to the Trinity site in 2012 with a friend of mine. It was a really interesting experience to spend the whole day because we got to see the arc of the crowds that came through and I was not prepared for the thousands of people that came through on this one day. So that piqued my interest, raised the question, well, who are all these people and why do they come? Which then became the essential questions in my application for funding. In 2017, I received a four-year Shirk Insight Grant that allows me to have some financial support to hire graduate students to work with me, and it also allows me to offer them training. It gives me support for travel to my field site. There's a little bit of support for equipment and infrastructure as I need it going forward. So Mary has done a lot of research about the atomic bomb and the sort of era that that brought us into. What's really powerful about her artistic research into this historical phenomenon is that she's also included her own personal experiences within it. So it becomes a very intimate way of looking at collective event. Mary first introduced me to the notion that art making is a form of research and it's a way of understanding the world. So it really gave legitimacy to the work that I was doing. She really cares deeply about her students and teaching is as much a part of her art practice as her visual art practice is. I think it's really important to take a certain amount of responsibility as an artist or any individual for the histories that we are a part of. The more I learned about the history of the bomb, the more I realized it wasn't just an American story, but it's a global story. It's mine too. And I was born 20 years after the bomb. The relationship to our history is important because it helps locate us. And if we're not grounded in where we are, temporally and spatially, then we don't know what to do. And how do we secure some sort of purpose or meaning in, in this one life we have if we don't try and ground ourselves? I think these areas of study, like the one that Mary's doing, sometimes have a monolithic body of research. And I think having the perspective of an artist who thinks of things like phenomenology, like how we experience things with our bodies and senses, as well as uh, integrating it within a history of aesthetics and visual culture is extremely important. And I think that the way that we visualize some of these research topics and the way that the public perceives them has a huge impact on the way that the research going forward is influenced. I try to engage in a dialogue in a public space. I try to make a contribution to the kinds of conversations that interest me. The longer I do this and the deeper I go, the more interesting it becomes. I like talking to the people about why this matters because they start to collectively tell this very complex web of stories about what it means to live in the nuclear age.